Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's your boy, Coach Clay. Clay Immunity. Tap in for your boy real quick. Tonight, we are going to be entering into a huge assignment around the Ball Brothers. Triple Bs, baby. We global, y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited because I'm going to be taking all three with Lonzo, LaMelo, and LiAngelo on the same team. Can we build a star-studded roster around them to give them their very first NBA title? We're going to find out tonight. Let's jump into it. All right, first thing we're going to do let's look at the roster that we have to work with all right right off the rip our best player on our team is lamella ball i got miles bridges that's my power forward gordon hayward who's on a ridiculous contract three-year 91 million dollar contract that's a lot of money to spend on one dude terry rogier is on a five-year 114 million dollar contract that's gotta go bro I ain't, I ain't rocking with that kelly Oubre on a 24 million dollar contract pj washington in the building and then all the way down there you have yours truly liangelo ball liangelo ball Ball comes in at a 75 overall he's not right now a starter but he's not necessarily a reserve either so we're gonna find a way to push him into the rotation i would love to actually see him step up into a starting role i'd love to actually start with all three ball brothers i want to bring you guys back to a quote that the great philosopher lavar ball once said if you put all three of my boys on the same team they not losing so we about to find out but the first thing comes first i gotta get lonzo ball on this team so let's see if we can work out a trade package for him go to the bulls lonzo what can I get for him? Do you know how hard this is going to be basically trying to run Lonzo, LaMelo, and LiAngelo? Thank God they all have height, but I mean, golly, bro. There's basically three point guards. I got to give you that and a first round pick? I have three good point guards. I don't need Kobe White on my team, too, even though that's a pretty good steal. Uh, I'll start the contract negotiations from here. Miles Bridges, he's on the last year of his deal. At least with Lonzo, I got him for three years. I have to make the tough decision. Let me sweeten the pot a little bit. Why don't you give me something else? See that unprotected first round pick? Let me give you a bunch of second rounds. Yo, he wants LiAngelo. Oh my gosh. This man's trying to trade for LiAngelo. No, I'm not giving you LiAngelo. LiAngelo's off the table. I want all three ball brothers. I'm going to do it. Give me the counter offer. Ish Smith. I'll rock with that. Let's go. I'll take that. All right. We officially now have all three ball brothers. Now I got to get rid of two big contracts. All right. So Terry Rozier, Gordon Hayward for Kyle Kuzma and Christoph Porzingis. I'm going to send PJ Washington and Davis Bertans. Flip them around for Clint Capella and Kevin Hoyter. I'm going to work out this deal between Terry Rozier, a second round unprotected pick, and Jonathan Isaac. I like the look. I'm going to go with it. So if I give up Cody Martin, Kevin Hoyter, a second round pick from 2026, I can get Alex Caruso and Tony Bradley. I want y'all to see our starting roster. I got Lamel Lonzo Ball at the point guard. His older brother, Liangelo. Lonzo Ball, which might I add, all three of these guys can play defense well. Chris Stops, Porzingis, Clint Capella, Jonathan Isaac, Alex Caruso, Seth Curry, and Nick Claxton. That's a solid roster, dog. As long as we are on the opposite side of the bracket of Milwaukee, I feel good. We didn't do very well against Milwaukee or Miami. I would rather play them in the Eastern Conference Finals. I know we played well against Philly. I'm pretty sure we have the series matchup. It's either 3-1 or 4-0 against Philly. So let's look and see what teams are a part of this playoff series. All right. So on the Western Conference, you got Phoenix playing against the Clippers. You got the Spurs playing against the Timberwolves, fighting their last spots in. At the top, you'll see the Utah Jazz finish number one in the Western Conference, followed up with the New Orleans Pelicans on the bottom. You got Portland at number three going up against Golden State. You got the Lakers going up against Memphis. And then on the Eastern side for the playoff tournament, here's who you got. You got Washington against Toronto, Brooklyn against Indy, and whoever wins will then end up facing off all of these Eastern Conference opponents, which you got Milwaukee, the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. Conference. Number two is us, the Charlotte Hornets. Number three is Philly going up against Boston, number six. And number four is Miami going up against number five, Chicago. All right, let's see if we can get into it. Let's get through the play-in games and see who actually makes it in. Yo, the Brooklyn Nets didn't even make it. So we're lining up against the Wizards first. All right, let's jump into it. Oh, wow. We lost the first game of the matchup. Oh, no. What went wrong in that game? What went wrong? View the box score. Yeah, LaMelo had 21. He shot terribly. Eight for 22, three for 11. Clint Capella had 20 and 18. Lonzo had 12, 7, and 8. Yeah, that boy Leangelo over here selling with four for 14. Christos Porzingis out here selling with four for 13. Seth Curry out here selling one for six. Oh my gosh, bro. Everybody in their mama selling right now. It is terrible. And Bradley Beal, of course, he went off. Kelly Oubre went off. Gordon Hayward went off. We're literally playing the two guys that were cornerstones in our entire organization, and they're going off on us right now. Let me give him one more game before I make something drastic. Yep, and the Hornets will take game number two. Massive second half performance right there. Your leading scorer was LaMelo Ball with the 24, 8, and 10 night. Uh, Jonathan Isaac with 17. 
Kristaps with 15. Still did terrible. Kristaps went 0 for 11. Bruh, how are you shooting that badly? Oh boy, Clint Capella had 20 boards. I bet you did with all these bricks they threw up. All right, here we are. Game number three. Hornets are on the road. Let's see if we can steal one away while we are in Washington. Wow. Bradley Beal went off for 51 points. Kyle Kuzma had 32. Kyle freaking Kuzma. They combined for 83 points together. Tres had 16. Gordon Hayward had 14. Who is this? LaMelo? He had six fouls. He had six points. Leangelo, you're going on the bench, son. Lonzo had eight, two, and five. Three for 14. Dear sweet baby Jesus, help me out today, Lord. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I gotta stop Bradley Beal. Bradley Beal is averaging darn near 30-ish points a game on us. If it gets any worse, I'm just gonna double him. See if we can get this next game going. See if we're gonna have a close one lined up. And pulling away in game number four. Beautiful. That's what I needed. What the box score look like? Yep, yeah, Gort, listen, that's it. This is exactly what I needed. He went six for 16. He got put in a box, bro. I'm not worried about Kuzma. Kuzma not gonna beat us every game. If Gordon Hayward is their leading scorer and Trez is their leading scorer every game, I'll live with that. Kristaps at 26. Lonzo had 19. LaMelo had 14. Capella had 14 and 15. Cruz had 12. Seth, uh, Seth had uh, 12. And Jonathan Isaac, he didn't score much, but I guess we'll guarantee you he, one thing he didn't do, he didn't give up a lot of points from Bradley Beal, and that's all I needed him to do. Let the rest of my team go off. All right, the Wizards are going to be in Charlotte for this next game. Game number five. Most of these games have been blowouts, bro. I haven't had to slow any of them down. Look at this. Lonzo, 25. Chris Stops, 22. Uh, Capella, 22. LaMelo, 21. Seth, 15. I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people go off. Bradley Beal had 36. That's fine, but nobody else on their team went off like that. Well played. All right, and now we are in a decisive game number six in Washington. That's GG's. We take the next one. There we go. Move on to the next round where we take on James Harden and Joel Embiid in the second round of this playoffs in the Philadelphia 76ers. I guarantee you we're going to have some close games that we're going to need to watch for this one. All right, let me catch you up with what's going on with the rest of the NBA. If you look in the Western Conference, the Utah Jazz beat the Suns in a five-game series. Gentlemen sweep. The Lakers fall to the Memphis Grizzlies in round one. Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers fall to the Golden State Warriors. And it looks like the Clippers, who came out of the play-in round as the eighth seed, end up beating the Pelicans in a seven-game series. They will line up against the Warriors in the Western Conference semis. On the other side, Milwaukee in six games beating the Toronto Raptors going up against the seven game winning Chicago Bulls in round number two. The Charlotte Hornets will move on to round number two and they'll face off against the Philadelphia 76ers who beat the Boston Celtics in a six game matchup. This one's going to be a tough one. Let's jump into it. Round number two, Philadelphia 76ers on the road in Charlotte. Yeah, we ain't got to slow that down. Box score, let's check out what we got. All right, so on the uh, Hornets side, LaMelo with 27, Lonzo with 20 uh, with twenty rebounds. Look at this, double-doubles from both the brothers. 27 and 10, 20 and 11. Clint had 20 and 18. Kristaps had 18 points. Alex Crusoe with 12. And Leangelo with 10 points. He's literally scoring just as much as a bench player with 10 minutes than he was as a starter. That's crazy for me, bro. Wow, even with the huge fourth quarter surge from the 76ers going 41 points in that uh, fourth quarter of play, James Harden, 23 points, 12 assists. Joel LMB 23 17 and 7. We kept them in check, bro. All right, let's jump now into game number two. It's going to be our first one we could jump into. LaMelo with the basketball. Tries to get the screen from Jonathan Isaac. Makes a couple of fancy moves. Off the contact, and he will finish the bucket. Timeout, Philadelphia 76ers. LaMelo ball, man, came to play. Good play, son. All right, four point ball game. All right, here we go again. Off the inbound. Sixers get it over to James Harden. James Harden with Jonathan Isaac, the ball lock on him. Frank Korkmaz is blocked, and that is going the other direction. Joel Embiid is forced to take the foul. That now puts Charlotte in the bonus and will send Clint Capella to the line. Capella is not the best free throw shooter, so this doesn't necessarily mean that the game is over at this point. Let's see what he can make happen. In fact, he'll miss the first. That's actually the best guy on their team to foul. And he will miss the second one. All right, here we go. It's score, do or die, right here. Game two. Maxi off the screen, gets it to Joel Embiid. Fadeaway shot. Clint Capella has absolutely locked up Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid has been able to do nothing since we jumped into this series. The more I keep thinking about it, the more I'm just grateful we picked up somebody who could be able to hold down even the best bigs in the game. Doesn't matter if he can't hit free throws right now. That's totally fine. But he is not giving Joel Embiid any space to breathe on the defensive side. Four straight missed field goals. Sixers will take another timeout. They have to score a three here. Philadelphia with 16 seconds left have their backs to the wall. They need to respond. Let's see what Doc Rivers drew up here in this play. 
off the inbound. James Harden tries to find something. He gets to Korkmaz, and he will miss. Joel Embiid back out. That's not Korkmaz. I'm sorry. That's Niang. Niang will make the three. That's now a one-possession ball game. Timeout, Charlotte Hornets. Wow. And just like that, you thought the game was over. There is still an opportunity. There is still a reality where this team, the Hornets, knock down both these free throws and the Sixers come down and nail a three. It is still a possibility. LaMelo will make the first, and he'll make the second off the inbound. Seven seconds left to go. Gets it to Tyrese Maxey. Maxey dribbles up the left side of the court. Looking for a spot. Decides to take a contested two. I blame that on youth. That'll end the second game of this series. Your Charlotte Hornets will win in a close one in Charlotte. Now making the series lead two to zero. I think we got a great shot at winning a title this season. GG's only. No! I hit the wrong button, bro. We're gonna disregard that game. All right, so we're jumping into game number four between these two teams. At the moment, the Hornets have a 2-1 series lead in Philadelphia. So it looks like the Hornets will take game number four. Let me look at the box score. You got Joel Embiid with 20 and 14. James Harden absolutely locked, bro. Six for 11, one for three, or one for four from the three-point line. On the other side, Chris Stops Porzingis with a 25-point game. Clint Capella with 21 and 13. LaMelo with 20 points and nine assists. Is that Lonzo? LiAngelo with 18 points, too. I see you, young fella. Yeah, yeah, Lonzo Ball with 11 and 8. Look at this. All the way even scoring right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 guys from your team have scored double-digit points. Seth Curry didn't really hit, but that's totally fine. We made up for everything else right there. Alex Caruso is balling out right now, man. All right, and this might be the game that decides it. We're jumping into game number 5. No, no, it looks like Philly got this. Yeah, Philly got this one. Bet they'll take game number 5. That was well played. Uh, we're going to simulate this again, and let me go here. Yeah, that's GG's. That's GG's. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, your Hornets will move on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Well played. They will move on to the Eastern Conference Finals after a massive game by LaMelo Ball. 34 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, uh, 13 for 21 from the field. Clint Capella had a 24 and 14 night. Christos Porzingis with a 17, uh, 11 and 6. Uh, who is this? Leangelo? Lonzo Ball had 11 and 8 as well. LaMelo took the team and put it all the way on his back and went rocking and rolling from that. The better roster ended up holding itself out towards the end, and they will advance to the Eastern Conference Finals where they will face the defending world champions, the Milwaukee Bucks. All right, so we're going to load it up, man. I'm, I'm very nervous at the moment because I don't know if we have an answer for Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's GG's. Wow, that's actually a close game. Man, let me check that box score. Giannis had 32. Obviously, he's going to get 32. He got 32, 5, and 6. Uh, Chris Middleton had 21. That's fine. DeMarcus Cousins had 18. Drew Holiday had 13. Look at this. LaMelo went off for 28. Chris Stotts went off for 21. Lonzo went off for 19. It's fine if my other dudes are not hitting. Jonathan Isaac literally played for 33 minutes, and he guarded Giannis. At least Giannis didn't go for a 50-point game. Like, I'm fine with that. All right, game number two. Yeah, Milwaukee will take game number two. Yeah, Giannis with 21. Look, look at this. This. Yeah, 21, 16, 15, 14, and we just couldn't get it done, man. Look at this right here. Lonzo played for 33 minutes, had eight points. Caruso went for 22 minutes, six. Steph Cur Seth Curry, 22 for five points. Chris stops 34 minutes. He went one for 12, over seven from the three-point line. Jonathan Isaac, one for 11. We could not buy a bucket this game. Yeah, the Bucks have fantastic defense. They were able to lock us up. Let's see if we can steal one or at least get one while we're at home. Yeah, I don't need to jump in on that one. Yeah, that's a GG's. Check out that box score. Two, three, four, five, six people in double figures. On the other side, Giannis was put in check, bro. Giannis only had nine shot attempts. Jonathan Isaac, he doesn't score much, but that's fine. He's playing great defense. I like what I see out of that. Same thing, we're gonna jump back into it. Yeah, we're gonna jump into this one. Porzingis trying to work in the paint. Does a couple of jab steps, cannot get the separation he needs. He picks up his dribble, he has nowhere to go. Six seconds on the shot clock. Back to Caruso. Caruso has to force up a bad shot. There is nobody there for the rebound. The Bucks are absolutely swarming this team on defense, and they can do absolutely nothing about it. And I don't think they have enough time to be able to put 10 points up in 43 seconds. Their offense has been incredibly stagnant. Jonathan Isaac will miss that shot. Clint Capella will miss that shot as well. Porzingis will miss that shot as well. Isaac will miss that shot as well. <laughs> Yo, they cannot hit shots, dog. And that'll run it out. I think that's a GG. All right, it is a tied series. We are going into game number five in Milwaukee. They are getting flooded. 
Wow, they will go down in game number five. What happened that game? Yeah, Giannis, 31. Freaking Grayson Allen. I can't stand that man. Grayson Allen was 16. Bobby Portis Jr., 16. Chris Middleton, 15. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys on their team all went double digits. Porzingis, 23. Capella. LaMelo, man, it's so hard when he's hurt. Lonzo had 11. LiAngelo had eight. I just, I don't have that bona fide score like I need to. I need LaMelo to be that bona fide score, bro. All right, here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is game number six. It is do or die. I'm gonna jump in on that one. 48 seconds left to go. LaMelo Ball with 23 points on the night. Now 24. Steps up and knocks down the first free throw. And he will miss the second one. It's a one point game. Here we go with Milwaukee running down the floor. Opportunity to go to the NBA Finals is on the line. DiVincenzo in the corner. He will miss the shot. Porzingis with the board. LaMelo will elect. He'll slow the ball down a little bit right here. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Gets it to Jonathan Isaac, who's wide open. He misses Capella with the board. He misses two. The Bucs will call a timeout. 11 seconds on the shot clock. They're waiting for a cut. Jonathan Isaac, one of the best defenders on the Hornets, on Chris Middleton. He's got the length. Four seconds left to go. Drew Holiday with the shot. And he missed. They will force a game seven. But here's the question. Can they go into Milwaukee and finish the deal and move on to the NBA championship as they pursue their first ever NBA title? I think their first ever NBA title. Yeah, first ever NBA title. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody in the who is a fan of the National Basketball Association loves these two words. Game seven. We're going to the NBA Finals. We're going to the NBA Finals. Check out that box score. Giannis with 25, Chris Middleton with 22, Brooke with 18, Bobby Portis with 15, and Drew Holiday with 10. Put on the Hornets off of a 42 point fourth quarter. LaMelo with 25, Capello with 23, 23 and 12, Porzingis with 19 and 10. Who is it? Lonzo with 15 and 11, Caruso with 14, Isaac with 11, Seth Curry with 10. What a game, bro. Here we are. Year one, the Charlotte Hornets are representing the Eastern Conference in the NBA a championship matchup between the Western Conference foe, the Utah Jazz. So we're going to have our hands full as we try to get a chance to balance this off, man. Let's see if we can come into this game one and set the tone early while we are on the road in Utah. Ladies and gentlemen, we dropped almost 150. Let's jump into the next one. Yeah, that's GG's. All right, here we are now. Game number three. Oh my gosh. We might be crowned NBA champions at the end of the night. Are we going to be classy and let them win one game for a gentleman's sweep? Are we going to end this completely right here tonight? Oh, yeah, we're jumping in. 37 seconds left to go in this gameplay. Down nine points. And it looks like they can't they can't buy a bucket right now. Wow. They're going to have to go back to the drawing board and figure this out. Because this is not a good look for these two teams. Or for this team right now. Utah Jazz will take game number four. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering into game number five. Without our one of our best defenders, we got flooded, bro. Wow, they'll take Utah Jazz. Will take game number five. What went wrong? Donovan Mitchell, bro. Donovan Mitchell went off for 46. How am I supposed to play that, man? Lamelo had a bad game. Lamelo had 20 points. Kristaps had 30. Clint Capella had a decent game. Leangelo with 11. Yeah, this might be a seven-game series, bro. I think that might be what we end up uh, going into. Game number six. Yo, they keep getting flooded. Y'all, we, we're going down to game seven. I told y'all. I told y'all this was going to happen when Jonathan Isaac went down. I told y'all. We have nobody to guard Donovan Mitchell. Y'all, I'll be honest with you, man. I don't think we're winning this season. I can't believe we literally made it this far just to get injured. I feel like the Warriors that one season when Clay went down, KD went down, and they had no bench, and their next best scorer was Draymond Green. Like, I feel like the Warriors from that season we made it all the way here just to lose, bro. My heart is absolutely broken. We're going into game number seven. All the odds are stacked against us right now. I'm going to jump in the game. It's game seven, man. Nobody is sitting down in this arena. Great shot by Christos Porzingis. That'll push the lead now. Excuse me. Now we're to a nine-point ball game. What am I saying? Nine-point ball game. It's not a nine-point. It's a 21-point ball game. Y'all, they're not coming back and winning this. This might be all she wrote, man. 15-point game. One minute and 30 seconds left to go. And that's going to be it, man. They cannot come back after being down 3-0 in the NBA Finals. The Charlotte Hornets will go on to lose four straight games. And the Utah Jazz will be crowned your newest NBA champion. Oh, this hurts so bad to watch. Oh. Now we got to figure out contracts. Now we got to work out trades. This, this hurts, man. Oh. All we had to do was win one 
game out of four. But instead, the Jazz win four straight. And they are crowned your newest NBA champions. And that'll be it. That is at the end of season number one with the Charlotte Hornets. Hey, man, if you guys made it to this far in the video, I, as you can tell, I'm super bummed with the way the rebuild went. But I will make you a promise. If this video hits 100 likes, we will do a season two where we run this thing back.